afraid to feed my cat. I've tried to do this a million times. She's just very excitable. I don't want to put her like in a carrier or anything like that because we got her out of the dumpster. So she's had a rough life and she's adjusting just fine. We'd rather her run around like a little crazy wild child <laughs> than feel like she has to be scared all the time. Anyway, so we're doing the dry method for ease of filming. Um, and we're talking again, mostly about areas that are difficult to cover on TikTok, like breast tissue. Okay, fullness. You see the difference between resting and full? You want to push like a push-up bra. Support your breast from under. If you're talking about doing the top, you cover the nipple. You're not going to have on a shirt, obviously. Um, but this is the method in which I do that I have almost completely and totally, almost completely and totally removed and or lessened to such a point where I don't even notice anymore. Anyhow. Circular motions, fullness, okay? See how this guy resting over here? It is what it is. Over here, we're nice and full. Small circular motions, moving on, okay? It's all about hand manipulation. You move it to this side, you're gonna be able to do here. If you have to do the other side, hang on one second. Whoa. Pushing up against the body, small circular motions, just like that. It is all about hand manipulation. That is it in its entirety. So moving on from that, easy peasy. Dark elbows, that's another one everyone talks about. You're going to want to bend your elbow completely. As such, so softly, so softly, just like this. And hopefully you guys can see everything that's going on. It's very difficult kind of to describe this when you're not a vlogger, you're not an influencer. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, okay? This, this I know. This, this I don't know, so bear with me. Same thing on this side. I don't have dark elbows or knees, but I don't want to have um, dryness either. So I do mine as well. Very soft, very delicately going over it, hardly holding it again. Knees, same thing. You're going to go ahead and bend this guy up as best you can. All around that puppy. Just, you know, getting her. So soft, so gently. I do this from literally my ankles all the way up. I hit all of my skin with a pumice stone, all of it, all of it, okay? From here, if you're doing the dry method, it's very simple. You're, you're going up. I do it in quadrants. I go from here to here, all the way around. Then I go from here to here, all the way around. For if you're talking about doing here, I do pull this to myself and I push my butt into it to make it as full as I can down here. This is how I do the side. Or if I really, really want to make sure that I'm getting all this nice and tight too, I push this leg using my arm. I'm kind of pulling and pushing simultaneously and pulling up this skin. That's how I do my outer thighs is like this, okay? It, it, you're talking about the dry method. You're talking about sitting down or laying down. This is the best way. Also, you can pull it up this way, leaning back like so, okay? You guys are actually, this is kind of a little workout. You're kind of hitting your core. You're kind of hitting your arms. You don't really do a whole, whole lot with your legs, but if you're using your legs to pull you back and forth, a little bit of work out there, hardly much, but a little bit. Um, same thing, if you're talking about doing the insides, what I like to do, I like to be elevated. It's really easy for me because I have a massage table um, that I use for my appointments, but you push this leg down. If you can find a chair, if you can find, you know, the side of your bed, please note this is dead skin, you guys. So put something down and stay on top of that thing. You're going to push that leg down, allow that weight to just kind of hang or find something that you can brace your leg with, right? To create more tension, pulling that leg towards your body. Okay. Pulling that leg toward the body and tight to the side. Also, this is how you do the inside of the thigh. All right, you're gonna to wanna to start from down, working your way up, and you do not double back. This is gonna help you with those innermost stretch marks as well, okay? Another method of doing this, and I'm gonna turn this way, but another method of doing this is if you Captain Morgan, okay? If you Captain Morgan and you put that leg out somewhere and you basically are falling into it, okay? You want to be flat-footed on this one and you're kind of pivoting your body like this, pulling this skin up, like this. Obviously, if you have a bench or something in the shower, you can do this as well. If you don't have a bench, 
go grab a plastic chair. Like how much could they possibly be really? I mean, if you're really gonna get into this, there's ways to get ish done. We are resourceful. Go out and grab your little porch patio chair, whatever, throw it in the shower and then wash it when you're done. <laughs> All right, so pulling that nice and tight. Again, same thing. You can even do this on the outer side of the leg. I'm gonna do it on this one because, you know, modesty reasons, but you put this out here like this, you can jut that hip out. Actually, you guys aren't gonna know what I'm talking about. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna show you this way. Hang on, hang on, moving over here. Here's what we're gonna do. Again, if you find something that you can elevate, you're gonna take that leg and you pop it, the pop the hip out, okay? And this way, you can lean into it too, making this skin as tight as you possibly can. Adjust your body in a way to help you tighten that skin. You can't always just do it with your arms. So pull this skin this way, you're going this way, right? Diagonal, right? We can go this way, we can go this way. You don't wanna push it back down. You're pulling things up. All right, now you're not gonna have shorts on. You're gonna be, you know, in your birthday suit, whatever the case may be. Now, I have, we're talking about love handles. No problem. Remember the little teapot, okay? You pull yourself sideways, you jut this hip out again. This goes out like this, this gets pulled like this, and you're leaning, okay? From, it looks like this, this way, like so really 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 pulling tight leaning back lean back lean back you guys remember that song i know you do some of you don't some of you are little but that's okay um so yeah this guy is like this and you you lean it forward if you're talking about the stomach again you guys we talk about this all the time because it's the easiest thing to not get censored on tiktok but you're really kind of pushing it also if you can fill your stomach out if you can let some of that hang right just let it go Push it out as best as you can. Like that. Like that. Let your body fill before you start pulling or yanking or doing anything. Let everything fall how it may. Let it all fall how it may. And use the volume of your skin, whatever, whatever fatty tissue that you have, if you have fatty tissue at all. And again, you guys, I don't mean this to be offensive. I'm genuinely trying to help you. So... I know that my terms may not be appropriate and I do not mean any, any disrespect by any bit. I'm desperately trying to help anyone in a way that could be easily understood. So if my verbiage is incorrect, I completely apologize. I am in no way intending to be offensive at all. These are sensitive topics. I understand that, I appreciate that. And if I'm ignorant as to the appropriate way to discuss it, please know ahead of time, I adore you. I apologize. Let me know and I will rectify it going forward. Again, I mean absolutely no disrespect. I am not here to body shame or mis uh, miscommunicate by any means. I, I genuinely want to help, okay? So when I say things like, you know, fill it out, I'm not saying that I have excessive fat. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, yeah, look at my, my I'm not saying any of that. I'm really not. I, what I'm trying to display to you is a method in which I found because I've lost weight as I've done this I've lost weight my skin is tightened when I bend over now so when I go like let me grab that thing over there I don't get that folding that I used to have it doesn't do that anymore it stays tighter to my body now the same thing with things like derma rolling things like micro needling it's the same concept but for me this was a lot less painful so anyway with that sidetracked there back on track for this guy, also for way down here, same thing. The further back, and if you need, pretend there's a wall back here. I'm pretty flexible, but pretend there's a wall back here. Rest your shoulders on that wall. Then you can also look at what's going on. And you guys, if you don't use a wall, this is helping your core, okay? It's helping your core also. Again, not a lot, but any workout is more than no workout, right? Okay. So if you're talking about this part here, bending the elbow back down, this is gonna help with the outer parts here. If you're talking about the inner parts of the, of the, um, the armpit, sorry, put that arm behind you, okay? Or a little trick that I taught one of my clients, sit on a long sleeve shirt, pull it tight to the side, 
Turn your body like so, and then do it, okay? And again, small circular motions. You're not doubling back. If you also can't do this like I described for whatever reason, that's okay, same thing. Sit on top of a shirt, pull it nice and tight, move your head to the side, and you can do it this way. Um, what else? Avoid your neck. You're not doing your neck, you're not doing your face. You're only doing this once a week. If you are doing the dry method, please note, do not moisturize the day of, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna wanna be dry as you're doing this. That's why my skin is very uh, flaky right now. Ashy, I don't know if that's an okay term to use or not anymore. Um, again, if you guys have questions, if this doesn't describe enough for you, please let me know. We'll work it out. We will do this together. I want you guys to be able to do this in the privacy of your own home. If you're in the shower, please be mindful. Have a clean workspace. Have a clean workspace. You can't exactly sit in your shower, right? So if we're talking about doing these types of things in the shower for the breast tissue, it's the same concept. You don't need to sit down or move around to do any of that. If you're talking about the Captain Morgan stances, get yourself a chair. That'll help. If you're talking about, oh, you know, how do I do that inner thigh? What I do when I'm in there is I squat down. Now, this might not be comfortable for everyone. That's okay. Put your hand down. Really open those legs as best you can because the calf right here, in addition to your ankle or the, I'm sorry, the bottom of your foot pushing against that skin right here. See how it folds it out? It fills this completely. You can do it like that if you're talking about in a shower. Um... If you're talking about the back here, get your legs closer together. Again, you can brace yourself or use a brace of sorts, same thing, a chair, a bench if you have one in your shower, or if you only have a wall, make sure your wall is clean, make sure your wall is clean, but lean against that wall and kind of sit, you know, sideways. You can keep your legs together if that's uncomfortable and pull that skin up and you can do here, okay? So I really, really hope that this helps you guys. Um, if you have any other questions, any other concerns, things that you want to go over, please let me know. Um, TikTok censors a lot of things, so we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Again, I'm not a vlogger, okay? I don't know how to do this shit. I'm just trying to teach the world what I did, how I did it. Um, we don't know why the internet doesn't talk about it anymore, but it's not all that easy to find. So please don't come for me about how it's not a aesthetically pleasing or professional i know i'm i'm fully aware but hopefully you get the general idea and if you don't let me know let's let's work it out you and me we'll get it sorted out talking about the girls